Welcome to today's webinar, The Postal Service and Its Cost Reduction Plan. What is it thinking? My name is Wallace Vinglis. I'm Vice President here at Window Book. Joining me today, Dr. Jean Del Polito, President of the Association for Postal Commerce, also known as POSTCOM. Today's webinar will discuss the enormous financial crisis the Postal Service is experiencing and what they're planning to do to get out of it. We'll also discuss responses and plans from both Congress and possibly even the President. We've all heard the Postal Service is losing money hand over fist and is going out of business. Well, no one truly believes they're going to padlock the doors down at LaFont Plaza any day real soon. But the Postal Service's financial crisis is real, and drastic steps have to be taken to right the ship and right it soon. A number of members of Congress have stepped up and made proposals about how to best to fix things. Now, Gene talked about these last time, probably update us today on some of these, um, and is going to deliver what promises to be probably one of the liveliest webinars Window Book has ever presented. So without much further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Gene Del Polito. Gene, it is all yours. Okie doke. And by now everyone should see the opening screen for the webinar. Now we, we, we are going to be talking we are going to be talking about um, uh, the Postal Service's plan to uh, deal with some of the fiscal challenges that it has, but keep in mind that when we do talk about it, we're going to be talking about it within the overall context of what really is going on relative to the push for postal reform, because everything is all really tied together. So some of the elements we'll talk about are elements that are within the Postal Service's control. Some of the elements are elements that are going to require Congress really to step in and intervene in order to be able to bring anything about. Nothing has changed since the last time that we've talked. The Postal Service is still facing a rather significant fiscal crisis. And anyone with an ounce of brains has ever, ever been able to look at this particular problem knows that the Postal Service's problems are not necessarily caused by a lack of revenue. Yes, revenue has gone down. Yes, first class mail has left the system. Uh, there are people using alternatives. However, there's still a whole hell of a lot of mail volume that is within the system and that generates a considerable amount of money. The Postal Service's problems are that its costs vastly exceed its ability to recover those costs from its revenues. It now has a human and physical infrastructure which is much larger than what it needs to be in order for it to be able to address its workload needs. Now today the Postmaster General appeared before the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee to talk about uh, some of the other ideas he has raised relative to the Postal Service's cost reduction plans. But what he emphasized is that it now looks as if the Postal Service will have enough cash to be able to carry it along until about October 2013. This is one of the problems that you have in trying to predict their, their, uh, the, the, the actual crisis, when the other shoe is going to fall, and so on. And that is that the Postal Service's ability to predict mail volume and revenues is really not all that great. And it is possible to change tremendously your projections, even by small shifts in mail volume. So if you're talking about uh, changing mail volume or revenue by about 1%, you're talking about the difference between either running, in essence, a real surplus or a real deficit. But first class mail volume has not been dropping as fast as they originally projected. And, you know, we're moving into the election season. You're going to be seeing a lot of mail activity, particularly in standard mail, relative to the elections. Standard mail is beating the whole its own, and the economy is beginning to show some signs of coming back. Not that that means that mail is definitely going to be coming back to the heyday that it once had, but for sure what it means is that uh, it's, it's not going to continue on a deep slide that we've experienced over the past two years. Now, when uh, Wallace uh, brought up the topic at the beginning, you know, he, he mentioned the fact that you know, the concern is, is, is the Postal Service going out of business? 
Well, the fact of the matter is, is that as bad as the Postal Service's fiscal crisis is, it is highly unlikely that mail delivery will ever stop. It is highly unlikely